Hello everyone, it's Elle and welcome to my first hair tutorial. Um, so today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be kind of doing a tutorial on the hairstyle Karen Fishwick wore when she played Juliet in the RSC production of Romeo and Juliet. And this was a look I became really interested in, I think back in October, November time because I was doing a performance for my Shakespeare's Theatre module and I was playing the heroine and I saw her look and I was really interested to do, try and do that look on my own and so I got in touch with Karen, I tweeted her on Twitter and she told me about the wonderful work that the RSC wig departments do and how they do it so I thought why not have a go at it myself and it's a look that I really really enjoy doing and because I work as a medieval costume tour guide, I often do this look for when I go to work and I absolutely love it and I feel good in it. So to do this hairstyle, what you're going to need is a comb. You're going to need some hair ties. Oh, there we are, some hair ties. And you're going to need some pins. Now, to Part of the look is you need to have like you need to have some waves so you can either do that by crimping or you can put curlers through it but what I did last I did was I washed my hair last night and I plaited it and so I left it in all overnight and I've just taken them out so they're now nice and wavy and it's just like I feel when it comes to plaits this adds a really really nice texture to the look and I feel like it makes the hair um, that's been left down look really nice so what you're going to do first is you're going to take your comb and you're going to take a hair tie so I'm going to take this one and what you're going to do is you're going to get a piece side get a piece of hair and Puff and just make it go from your hairline kind of down to around your ear and what you want is a straight line-ish I'm just going to look in the mirror just my mirror here just to make sure I've got I've got it there we go that's the side look that you want and now I'm just going to hold that in my mouth for a second and then I'm going to just do the same on the other side So what I did there was, I just gave my my hair a bit of a comb back, that's just an optional step, step, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. But now I've got my two sides. Now when I tweeted Karen Fishwick, she said that they do Dutch plait, they did Dutch plaits for, for this look and they went down to there. But what I really like to do is do Dutch lace plaits and what Dutch lace plaits are you plait under and gather hair underneath but you add hair that's closest to your foreline so what you want to do now is pick up a little bit of hair from your hairline like this yeah you're gonna split it into three sections and you're just gonna start start the plait so my the hair that's closest to uh, so this is, think of this as number one middle one is number two this one's number three I'm going to start by putting one under two and then I'm going to put the next number three under like that and now I'm going to start adding hair 
So I'm just picking up little bits of hair from the hairline and I am adding them to the strand of hair that is closest to my hairline. So this is a step that you can um, take your time with just because you want to get it like really nice and smooth and you don't want any flyaways though if you get any bumps and flyaways then don't, don't worry and that's I'll show you kind of what I do with what I do to deal with that So after you have picked up your last bit of hair, you are going to do a normal Dutch plait all the way down into the end and you're going to use, you're going to tie it up with a hair tie, so I'm just going to show you. first plait and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pick up a, a pin and I'm just going to pop it about here and I'm going to put it there just to hold the plait in place and then I'm going to repeat my steps on this hair on this side done I've noticed that I've got some bumps kind of particularly on this side so I'm just going to pin some of them down and then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get some water and I'm just going to run it over my plaits as well. And I'm just going to pop, and I'm just going to quickly pop another hairpin in, if I can keep it without dropping it. And ideally what you want to do is put your hairpins where you can't see them. So now I am going to let the rest of my hair down. And now I'm going to do the next, the final step. So Karen said that they do, a, the wig people for her did a bow. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to get some hairpins, just so I've got them there for when I do, um, I do it. So I might just gather three or four for now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bow. So you might not be able to hear me so well when I do this, so I'm just gonna turn around so you can hopefully see what I'm gonna be doing. Put that on the towel. So I'm just gonna get the two, um, the two plaits. I'm gonna put them in a kind of loopy thing like this. With, I think I'm gonna put the hair up I want the hair ties underneath if I can and I'm just gonna loop them well this is what I want to do my hair does not listen to me a lot of the time so 
there you are. And I'm now going to pop the hair pin. And there you are. So I've now got some, so I can, I'm, I'm now I'm just going to spend a bit of time pinning down the bumps because I don't really like those. So I think they kind of spoil the look. So you basically, it's okay, you can have, put in as many bobby pins as you like in with this look. Oh, blending grips they're called, not bobby pins, sorry. I'm just going to quickly use my mirror for those to look, just make sure I've got, I've got, I've pop them all down. That's now in a place that I feel really happy about. I'm just going to give you a turn so hope you, hopefully you can see the full look. Hi. So there we are. That is a hair tutorial on how to do a Karen Fishwick's Juliet hair. Um, I know it's probably not a perfect representation or recreation of it but I hope you like it nonetheless and I can really recommend this if you want like a smart casual sort of look if you're looking for a um, medieval hairstyle for something or something that's a little bit on the line of Game of Thrones then this look is perfect as well so if you liked this video please click that thumbs up and if you like my the, and if you would like to please hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!